In one of my last videos, I installed the ladder from Prime Design. This is actually one of three videos where I show the installation of our bike rack, the ladder, and then I mention how I am going to install a Plano storage box on the back of the ladder. Now here are some of the items that we're going to be using here today. Of course, we have the Prime Design ladder. We have these cable clamps. I purchased these from Amazon, but these are available at local hardware stores. I used some cotter pins. You're going to see I ended up not using the metal brackets. And then, of course, we have our Plano storage case. I purchased the 42-inch all-weather series. I did buy this online. This is the same size that uh, some others on our group have used and installed. All right, this is what's called a cord tender. You can find this at your local, you know, hardware store. I purchased this at Menards. It's near, it's located near the electrical supplies. You're going to actually see in a little bit, I'm going to cut this in half. All right, let's take a look at the clamps. I chose to use ones that were wrapped in a rubber type of a material. And again, while I purchased these U-bolt plates, you're going to see I ended up not using those. And I tried to purchase all stainless steel cotter pins. Unfortunately, my store only had a few of the, the stainless steel ones, so I'll have to swap these out later. All right, we'll take a closer look at the Plano box. You're going to see here that it has a few areas where you can attach a, a, an exterior lock. I opted to use a combination lock, but this is the foam I was mentioning earlier. This has to be removed. It does. Uh, it is glued to the back of the case, so don't be alarmed that you have to pull and tear that out. My Plano box did come with some keys. I'm not sure if I'm going to use those or not, but as I said, I've I've already decided to use a separate second exterior lock. So the foam comes out pretty easily on one side. The other side is glued and um, you're going to see it does leave a, a little bit of a remnant and depending on how picky you are you may want to clean that out or not but uh, i don't think it was too bad right you know th but there is a little bit of uh, fuzz or or leftover material here that uh, you may want to take a look at and remove okay and this is your cord tender you're going to see me use the dremel multi-max tool to just simply cut this in half. This is a very handy tool for many RV projects. So I simply took this and cut it in half. I'm gonna use this to wrap my water hose, hoses and my electrical cord. And again, don't forget you got that special compartment. All right, I hope this is helpful. You can kind of see here where I drilled my different holes for the cord tender mounting and for my clamps. And you can kind of see why I opted not to use these brackets. They were a little wobbly because of those diagonal frames and uh, those diagonal mounts. I just didn't feel like I needed it after all. All right, so I used a cargo strap to temporarily hold the Plano box to the ladder while I was installing the clamps. I purchased some pipe insulation, cut it in half, and... Put that on the horizontal bars first. This was really hard to film, not a lot of room in here, so I hope you see what I did. But I put the clamps on top of the pipe insulation, and I put the pipe insulation over that horizontal bar. So I've got my holes drilled with my cotter pins in there, that temporary cargo strap, and you're going to see here what I've done in a moment to, to replace that temporary cargo strap. I also planned on using bolts with lock washers. I ended up not using, excuse me, the lock nuts. Those are just uh, very difficult to work with, I found. So I just used a regular bolt and a regular nut. Okay, so here we go. Let's take a closer look here as it progresses. I've got both of those installed. And again, I use the Dremel Multimax tool. Here I'm going to use it a second time. And what I'm going to do is cut a hole in the side of the case so that I can actually have that cargo strap installed for two purposes. It will act as a um, safety, a fail safe item. You know, if by chance one of my cotter pins popped out, you know, this will keep this uh, attached to the ladder. You can see how I've wrapped it around it so that it, 
it just doesn't fall off. But it also helps to um, tuck my electrical cord inside the box. So that is just a you know something I added as a precautionary measure, but it also serves a secondary purpose as well. All right, so my trusty assistant is going to show you the nearly finished product. So when you open this up, you're gonna see here that again, I've got those cord tenders. I'm holding my fresh water hose there. Don't forget your secret storage compartment, my water filter. You can see that safety strap I have there as well, my electrical cord, my surge protector. And this is actually a fail. I'm gonna to have to come up with something else. You can see here that the Velcro is, is just not getting the job done. So I'm gonna to have to come up with another solution there. But I really like this vertical plate that I've installed there. I did have to use some liquid nails to get it to stay secure, but um, that allows me to store everything in a convenient uh, place. So there you go, I hope this was helpful.